Hi children, how are you? I hope you all are fine and safe and taking prevention for this COVID-19. Stay home, stay safe. Very critical situation outside. What you are doing, I am doing the same thing. And today, I myself am Sunil Kumar, starting the new chapter for math. That is the coordinate geometry. That is the chapter called as coordinate geometry. Now, uh, as the chapter is uh, uh, coordinate geometry, let's know what is called as geometry. My dear students, you already know what is geometry. Geometry can be divided into zero and metry. What is zero? Zero means earth. Metry means metron. It is a Greek word. So metron means measurement. The earth measurement is called as geometry. Earth measurement always can be done by three ways. One is called lengthwise, masswise, and timewise. So these three are the basic measurement in earth. So uh, forget it. Now come to the part that is coordinate geometry. That means coordinate. In a geometry, coordinates are involved in it. What, are, what do you mean by coordinates now? Now I am explaining what is the uh, meaning of the coordinate. If uh, like see now, uh, I wrote here the introduction, the introduction part. And in the introduction part, I took a Cartesian system. I took a Cartesian system. So before saying about the Cartesian system, I am saying you, well, let's go for an number line. Let's go for a number line. See the number line. Say number line, 0 is in the middle and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, that means the positive integers in the 0 right hand side and uh, the negative integers in the 0 left hand side. So it is called as a number line. Now uh, uh, students, if you will take two number lines like this, one horizontally and one vertically. See how I took two number lines, one is a horizontal and another is a vertical one. Though the number line, they are meeting each other at 0. So, uh, the above of the zero is uh, the positive ones and the below of the zero is the negative ones zero right hand side the positive and zero left hand side the negative so these uh, when i will uh, say about a coordinate that means if i will take a point here see if i will take a point here now i want to say the exact location of the point where is it it is i i can i can drop a perpendicular to the horizontal and I, I, I will draw a line to the vertical where it is meeting it is meeting at uh, the horizontal 2 and the vertical uh, the 4 approximately 4 so the coordinate is that one coordinate is the location of the horizontal as well as the vertical position of a object so when they are crossing together at the O point if you I will take this hole into a Cartesian plane. Cartesian plane means a plane where the horizontal lines and vertical lines are intersecting each other. That is called as a Cartesian plane. See now, I took this number line to represent it in a Cartesian plane. When I am representing in Cartesian plane, my horizontal line is this one, my vertical line is this one. Where they are meeting, they are meeting at O. That means zero. That is called as the origin. What is that called as? Origin of the Cartesian plane. Now, the zero right hand side, the horizontal line, the horizontal line is always called as, look here I wrote here, always called as the x-axis or abscissa. What is that called as? x-axis or abscissa. Similarly, the vertical line or the, the vertical line is always called as the y-axis and called as the coordinate. Then what is a coordinate? A coordinate is a pair of this x-axis and y-axis or abscissa or coordinate. If you are uh, just uh, uh, going to put the value of the x-axis and the y-axis that is a pair, that pair is called as coordinate geometry. So what is coordinate geometry? Coordinate geometry is the geometry of the x-axis and y-axis positions of an object. Now I hope you understood it. Now come to the next part. I wrote it here, see nicely, if we take two number lines perpendicular to each other, so these two number lines is the number line, I gave an idea about number line now, when these two number lines are perpendicular to each other, one is horizontal, another is perpendicular, perpendicular to each other in the plane, 
this is a plane this can be this whiteboard can be called as a plane now these two lines are here so they are perpendicular to each other now then what is happening one one number line is horizontal and the other number line is vertical see one number one is vertical and another is horizontal so both the number line meeting at each other at the o or origin the o means zero they both are pressing each other at zero which one is called as the origin which one is called as the origin now if we represent this on a plane that means a cartesian plane cartesian plane here the very good example of a cartesian plane is your graph paper the intersection of the vertical and horizontal lines are called as a cartesian plane if i am going to represent my number line on that then what is happening see it is called a cartesian system so when we are going to uh, uh, going to determine the position of the object in a cartesian plane that is called as a cartesian system so a cartesian plane is a system so which is giving us the exact location of the point on it now he said a cartesian system is an ordered pair it is a ordered pair what is a system it is a system of an ordered pair of the horizontal axis and the vertical axis ordered pair of the horizontal and the vertical coordinates or an ordered pair of x and y we can simply say x and y that means x axis and y axis so now after putting this uh, number line into the cartesian plane what you are observing this cartesian plane is divided into four parts now four parts now first part is called as the quadrant number quadrant first part is called as the quadrant quadrant number 1 and second part is called as the quadrant number 2 third part is called as the quadrant number 3 and fourth part is called as the quadrant number 4 now you see uh, zero right hand side all are positives and uh, this is the x axis i said you this the x axis and this is the ordinate so now you see x is x axis x uh, x points are x coordinate is your uh, positive here and y coordinate is also positive zero off so the first quadrant the symbol of the first quadrant is plus and plus please try to remember this plus and plus the symbol of the second quadrant is the x axis is negative and the y axis is positive so it is a minus plus quadrant now quadrant number 3 the x is negative and y is also negative so it is a negative negative quadrant quadrant number 3 and the quadrant number 4 is the plus and the minus so first you have to say the x then those you have to say the y so here x is plus and y is minus so it is a plus minus quadrant clear now this plus plus is representing x and y x and y here here it is x and y and x and y so here i wrote for you all for your kind uh, uh, reference that is quadrant number 1 is always positive and positive that means x will be positive as well as the y will be positive quadrant number 2 the x will be negative and y will be positive quadrant number 3 the x negative and y is also negative and quadrant number 4 it is the positive and the negative i hope you got an idea about a cartesian system and also the introduction of coordinate geometry this is the geometry on a cartesian system geometry on cartesian system from which we can able to find out the location of the point of object in a cartesian plane so this name named as the this is named named as the coordinate geometry so i hope you understood all of this and about the cartesian system and also the quadrants on also the quadrants and their symbols also the ordered pairs of their symbols now come to the next part the next part is the locating a point on the cartesian plane so this is the cartesian plane now the intersection of the Uh, horizontal line to vertical line is called as the cartesian plane so now uh, the both the uh, number lines are intersecting each other at zero so zero is called as the origin already i said you now the, this horizontal line x dash x is called as the axis for you and the y and y dash is called as the ordinate for you and uh, it is dividing the plane into four quadrants now what is the first quadrant quadrant number 1 quadrant number 2 quadrant number 3 and quadrant number 4 i already said it quadrant number 1 is a plus and plus so it is a plus plus quadrant it is a quadrant number 1 is a plus and plus quadrant similarly quadrant number 2 it is a minus and plus so x minus plus 
you have to locate the x first then y so it is a minus and plus quadrant and uh, the quadrant number three is a minus and minus quadrant and quadrant number four is a plus and minus quadrant so i hope you understood the four quadrants nicely and the origin nicely and this is the horizontal called as the abscissa and the vertical is called as the origin now the question is that we have to locate a point on the Cartesian plane so now i locate a point c here it is p so now i want to say the position of the p in this Cartesian plane so to determine the position of the p first of all we have to draw a perpendicular to the abscissa and a perpendicular to the ordinate and you see where they are going to meet now very clearly in x-axis my perpendicular is at 3 uh, it is meeting at 3 and the vertical it is meeting at 4 so my x coordinate is here 3 and my y coordinate is 4 so I write the position of the point is 3 and 4 from origin from origin from origin it is in 3 cm distance and from the y axis it is at 4 cm distance if I will go then I can locate the point P so it is at 3 4 ordinate coordinate pair so it is the pair which is at x, x, x axis distance is 3 cm and y axis distance is 4 cm it is showing the point P now yeah I hope you understood it now come to the point you have to locate these points now I gave you some points here now you see what are the points I gave you 4 3 minus 3 4 5 minus 3 3 minus 2 and 0 0 so these points we are going to locate on the Cartesian plane very easy see now first of all when you are going to locate the point first of all you see um, for which quadrant they will belong which quadrant they will belong now you see here my x is plus and my y is plus so it is belonging to the plus plus quadrant it is belonging to plus plus quadrant plus plus is quadrant number one plus plus is called as quadrant number one so this point definitely this pair this order pair is definitely in quadrant number one so the x coordinate is four so if i go four centimeter from x and three centimeter from y i can locate my point so it is four centimeter in x and three centimeter in y see now i got my point here this is my point this is my point and what is the coordinate of pair of this point you have to write this for three like that we can locate the point or the coordinate pair in the Cartesian plane i hope you understood it next step, next one you see it is a minus three four first of all we have to see which quadrant it belongs it belongs to you see now it belongs to minus and plus quadrant so minus and plus quadrant is belonging to quadrant number two so minus in x it is minus three so we have to go for minus three and in y it is four we have to go for four so here we have to do minus three then my point is now here what is this point minus three and four you have to write the order pair like this okay now sim similarly uh, question number three is five minus three on which quadrant please tell me which quadrant it is it is definitely in second quadrant again plus and minus plus and minus quadrant is quadrant number plus or minus it is quadrant number three not quadrant number two like that many students will do the mistake for quadrant number two to quadrant number three so quadrant number two is quadrant number two is minus plus mean x it is minus and y it is plus or quadrant number three is x is plus and y is minus is it quadrant number three no it is quadrant number four so that mistakes everybody will do please try to take care of the mistakes so plus or minus see now it is clearly written it is quadrant number four so when the x is plus and y is minus definitely you are going to put it in the quadrant number four that means your order pair will belong to quadrant number four so now it is plus five we are going plus five in x and minus three minus three in y so this is minus three and this is plus five so now this is my point what is that five minus three i hope you understood now come to the point fourth one what is that three minus two what is three plus that means x is plus and y is minus again it is belonging to 
plus and minus 1 and plus minus that is again belonging to quadrant number 4. So in x it is 3 centimeter and in y it is 2 centimeter minus 2. So now this is the point minus 2 3. Here it is the point it is minus 3 2. Clear? Understood now? Now come to the point 0 0 that means x is 0 and y is 0. The origin is called as the 0 and 0 because here x is 0 and y is also 0 having no points at all. For that reason I hope you understood how to locate a point on the Cartesian plane. The location of the point in the, or the order pair in the Cartesian plane depends upon its symbols. So be careful when you know about quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4 they have particular symbols for them. Quadrant 1 is plus plus, quadrant 2 is minus plus, quadrant 3 is minus minus, quadrant 4 is plus minus. You see your order pair which of which quadrant it belongs. After that you try to locate the point uh, of the order pair accordingly according to that symbol of the quadrant. I hope you understood this locating a point on a Cartesian plane. Very easy. If you will practice then it will be easier for you. Now you see come to the next. What is the next? The origin and the coordinates of the origin. What is an origin? I said you uh, when we take two normal lines like that one number line is like this uh, horizontal and another number line is uh, vertical and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 like this and another one is vertical if two number lines are crossing each other at O then it is 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 here it is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 like this when they are, they are just meeting at a point that is at uh, 0 they are meeting each other at 0. So now you see here is the number line. What is the horizontal one? And here is the vertical one. They both are meeting each other at 0. And uh, uh, that 0 is uh, giving you uh, the position of the... Uh, here if you will ask you what is the x position? Uh, what is the x coordinate? The x coordinate will be 0. And what will be the y coordinate? The y coordinate is also will be equal to 0. So when the x coordinate is not there, is equal to 0 and the y coordinate is also not there equal to 0, then that point is called as the origin or the intersection of the horizontal and vertical. Otherwise you can say the intersection of the x-axis to y-axis is called as the origin. And that origin is always giving you the coordinate 0, 0. So the coordinates of the origin like the coordinates of origin, it is the coordinate of origin is 0, 0 at the intersection point or the abscissa to the ordinate the cross section the intersection of the abscissa abscissa to the ordinate is called as the origin that is the definition of origin so the coordinates of the origin is 0 0 absolutely right now it is clear that x is nothing that is 0 and y is nothing that is now come to the overall view of what we have already discussed up to now the overall view I am going to say you see the overall views in this overall view I took uh, uh, two uh, horizontal line and a vertical line and uh, they are intersecting each other at uh, 0 and uh, 0 right hand side it is the positive of x axis 0 left hand side it is the negative of the x axis 0 up it is the positive of the y axis as well as 0 down it is the negative of the y axis and uh, the intersection point is called as the origin the coordinate of the origin is 0 0. So now uh, with the, this, uh, this the intersection of two lines is uh, divide, giving you four quadrants that is quadrant number 1, quadrant number 2, quadrant number 3 and quadrant number 4. So in quadrant number 1 you see the x is uh, plus and y is plus. So quadrant number 1 is always called as plus and plus quadrant positive and positive quadrant. Here x is greater than 0 because x is positive and y is also greater than 0 because y is also positive that one you have to understand now come to the quadrant number 2 quadrant number 2 is x left hand side that is negative and y uh, of it is positive so it is a negative and positive minus and plus quadrant so it is called as quadrant number 2 quadrant number 2 is a negative and positive quadrant negative means x is less than 0 in x it is negative so x is less than 0 and the y is greater than 0 because y is positive here. Now similarly come to the 
Uh, so third quadrant, what is third quadrant? Third quadrant is x left hand side negative and y down, 0 below. That means y is negative also. So it is a negative, negative quadrant. So quadrant number 3 is a negative and negative quadrant. Negative, negative quadrant means your x is less than 0 and also y is less than uh, 0. So now you see uh, it is a negative, negative quadrant. So we will come to the quadrant number 4. What is quadrant number 4? Quadrant number 4 is a 3x right hand side, it is positive and uh, 0 below, that is y is negative. So it is a plus minus quadrant, plus minus quadrant, positive and negative quadrant. Here x is greater than 0 and y is less than 0. Here x is both are less than 0. So here it is x is less than 0 and x is greater than 0 and y is less than 0. I hope this idea about the quadrant, you got it nicely. So now come to the uh, point I uh, I gave I just I am just uh, giving you uh, how to complete a table when some points are given on the Cartesian plane. You see the points are given here E D C U A T I N. Some points are given in various quadrants. You have to complete my table. See the table. The table is giving the point names that is E D U C A T I N. It is given here now and axis that means the distance to the x-axis ordinate the distance to the y-axis from origin all the distance will be measured from origin so the axis means the x-axis distance from the origin and the ordinate means the y-axis distance from the origin now you have to go for the coordinate pair of that point this point coordinate pair also you have to write that means a coordinate pair must be written with a comma and x and y with a bracket so that one you have to do you have to do and also the quadrants which quadrant they are going belonging that one also you have to say now let's come to this figure what is the e point e point is here when you see a point please drop a perpendicular to the x-axis and also a perpendicular to the y-axis through scale and you see this perpendicular is meeting x-axis at 3 and y-axis at 6 so the coordinate pair of this point is first you have to write the x then you have to mention the y so what is the x here 3 and what is the y here 6 so the coordinate pair is 3 6 and see now both are positive so it is a plus and plus coordinate plus plus coordinate always belongs to quadrant number 1 so this e point is belonging to quadrant number 1 I hope you understood similarly I got for a d point c now d point drop a perpendicular to x axis and a y x perpendicular to y axis you see it is at 5 in x axis and 5 at y axis so we have to write the coordinate pair as 5 comma 5 bracket so now it is also x and y axis are both are positive for that reason this d point is also belonging to quadrant number 1 i hope you understood now you see here in quadrant number 2 there is a c point drop a perpendicular to x axis meeting at minus 3 and drop a perpendicular to y axis meeting at 6 so it is negative in x and positive in y so it is a minus plus coordinate so i wrote here minus 3 plus 6 and it is a minus plus coordinate due to it is a minus plus coordinate this is definitely belonging to quadrant number 2 similarly u point is here drop a perpendicular to x axis and perpendicular to y axis see now it is meeting at minus 4 and it is meeting at 5 Due to it is a minus and plus quadrant, the minus plus coordinate, it is minus and plus coordinate, minus 4 and 5, so definitely minus plus coordinate belonging to quadrant number 2. So, it, this u point is also belonging to quadrant number 2. I hope you understood. Now, come to this a point. See now a point, drop a perpendicular to x axis and drop a perpendicular to y axis. See now what is, what is it is, where it is meeting, minus 4 and it is meeting at minus 3. Both the coordinates are minus. So it is a minus 4, minus 3, minus and minus square uh, coordinate. So minus minus coordinate is always giving you the quadrant number 3. So minus minus x negative and y negative. X less than 0 and y also less than 0. Same similarly, go to the t point. Let's see the t point. T point is minus 2, drop a perpendicular and drop a perpendicular to x axis. It is a, a minus 2. And now in y axis it is minus 6. So it is minus 2, say minus 6. So both the, both the coordinates are in negative. So definitely negative negative quadrant is 
belonging to quadrant number 3 and this T point is also belonging to quadrant number 3. Now come to the I point. See now I point, drop a perpendicular to X axis and drop a perpendicular to Y axis, meeting X at 4 and Y at minus 2. So it is a plus and minus coordinate. So definitely you write here 4 minus 2. So definitely you see it is a plus and a minus coordinate. Plus minus four coordinate pair is always belonging to quadrant number 4. Quadrant number 4 is a plus and minus quadrant. And next is n point, drop a perpendicular to x and the drop a perpendicular to y. You see it is 3 and minus 5. 3 and minus 5. See now the coordinate pair is giving you the positive and negative uh, symbols. For that reason, this point is also belonging to quadrant number 4. I hope you understood how to uh, go for the quadrants and or coordinate pairs of the point on a Cartesian plane. Now come to put them under a table. See now what is the table I did for you? It is point. The point now names has been written here and here it is abscissa. Abscissa means what is the distance from of the x-axis from origin. From origin what is the distance covered in the x-axis and what is the ordinate? The distance covered in y-axis y axis from origin that is called ordinate and what is coordinate pairs on to which points it belongs in x-axis and y-axis that is called as coordinate pairs x and y then go for the quadrants according to their symbols you have to judge the quadrant which quadrant they belong to now you see the e point when i am talking about e point e point is 3 6 so 3 is x distance and 6 is y distance i put it here in 3 in f and 6 in ordinate and i wrote the coordinate pair for 3 6 as they are both positive, it is belonging to quadrant number 1. Similarly, I did it D point. D point you see, it is 5, 5. So, X axis is 5 and ordinate is 5. And the coordinate pair is 5, 5. And uh, the symbol for the coordinate pair is plus, plus. So, it is again to quadrant number 1. Similarly, you go for the U point. You see the U point. Here it is minus 4, 5. So, minus 4 in X and 5 in Y. And it is written as minus 4, 5. And due to minus plus quadrant, it is belonging to quadrant number 2. Now, go for the A point. A point is, you see, sorry, U point. U point, you see, it is, uh, uh, sorry, C point, you see, minus 3, 6. C point is minus 3 in X, 6 in Y. So, minus 3, 6, it is minus plus and quadrant number 2. Come to the A point. A point is minus 4 in X and uh, 3 minus 3 in Y. So, it is the minus 4 minus 3. And if due to it is a minus minus, it is belonging to quadrant number 3. Similarly, T point is minus 2 minus 6, minus 2 from X and minus 2 minus 6 from Y. So it is minus 2 minus 6 and also belonging to quadrant number 3. Now come to the point I. I point is 4 in X and minus 2 in Y. So it is a 4 minus 2 plus minus word plus minus symbol going to the quadrant number 4. Similarly, N point, you see N point, it is 3 in X and minus 5 in, uh, sorry, minus 5, minus 5 in the Y, minus 5 in the Y, so it is a plus minus quadrant and belonging to quadrant number 4. The thing, overall thing to say that when a point is given in the Cartesian plane, we can judge their coordinate pairs according by dropping perpendiculars to X and Y and uh, due to, according to their uh, coordinate symbols we can judge the quadrants also and the distance from the x-axis that is abscissa and distance from y-axis that is called ordinate to be judged and to fill up the table like this i hope you understood it now come to the next part the next part is uh, plotting a point on a cartesian plane when its coordinates are given when the coordinates are given for a point we are going to plot them in a Cartesian plane. So, here I took a question for you by which it will be easy to understand. Plot the following points in a Cartesian plane. I took some points like M, A, C, D, E, F where the coordinates are given. That means the order pairs of X and Y is given to you. This is X, this is Y. So, minus 2, 4, minus 5, minus 3, 1, uh, minus 6, 0, 0, 0, minus 3, minus 3, 0. Similarly, a lot of points can be taken, but I am showing uh, this uh, 6 points how to plot it on the 
cartesian plane before plotting the cartesian plane the points on the cartesian plane first you have to draw a cartesian plane and giving your uh, measurements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and write a scale here you have to write mention a scale in x axis what is the scale in x axis 1 cm 1 unit is equal to 1 cm and in y axis 1 unit equal to 1 cm you are taking that measurement in your cartesian plane so x axis 1 unit is equal to 1 cm and in y axis uh, 1 unit is equal to 1 cm that this is measurement you are going to plot the points here it is 1 2 3 4 like that now scale is written our uh, two uh, horizontal and vertical lines are ready that means x axis axis and y axis that is ordinate is ready for you so now the origin is here so origin is x coordinate 0 and y coordinate 0 now we have to go to the plot the points before plotting this points we have to mention the quadrants what is this this is quadrant number 1 and called as plus and plus quadrant because in x it is plus and in y it is plus so it is a plus plus quadrant and in quadrant number 2 it is a minus and plus so it is a negative and positive quadrant and it is quadrant number 3 this is your minus and minus quadrant minus and minus quadrant next it is square quadrant number 4 quadrant number 4 is uh, plus and minus quadrant that is quadrant number 4 you have to mention this quadrants like this everything should be written nicely next come to the coordinate pair what is the coordinate pair for n point it is minus 2 4 minus 2 4 you just do the symbol minus and 4 is plus so it is a negative and positive quadrant negative and positive quadrant always belonging to quadrant number 2 so directly you come to quadrant number 2 and see x minus 2 x is minus 2 and y is 4 y is 4 so go for a perpendicular from x and drop another perpendicular from y that is 4 where they are meeting that point is called as your what point m point now it is your m point and it is the coordinate having minus 2 and 4 very easy minus 2 and 4 i hope you understood it so what you did minus 2 from minus 2 you go for a distance and from 4 you come for a vertical distance here here you are going up going for a perpendicular and here you are coming horizontal where the uh, vertical and horizontal line is crossing each other for minus 2 and 4 that point is called as the point m and it is belonging c now it is belonging to quadrant number 2 because the symbol is negative and positive negative and positive understood now it is very easy to do now come to the a point a point is minus 5 minus 3 that means it is a minus minus Symbol, my negative negative symbol. Negative negative symbol is always belonging to quadrant number three. So directly you go for quadrant number three, and here you see x is minus five. So x is minus five. Drop a perpendicular, and y is minus three. Drop a horizontal. Then where they are mixing each other, that point is called as your a point. That is your a point. So a point now here it is minus five and minus three. And the extra zero of it. So we plotted the a point also in the Cartesian plane now. Now come to the zero zero. As you know, zero is in x is zero, so no distance travelled in x axis, and y is zero, so no travelled distance travelled in y axis. So it is the origin. So this is the point for D. So D is equal to what is that? Zero zero. I hope you understood. Now come to the e point. E point is zero. x having no distance at all see when x is zero x coordinate is zero that means nothing traveled in x axis only y axis is there to play so what is y axis it is minus 3 so minus 3 is here so this is the point this is the point we can call it as e point this is can be called as e point and can be given as 0 minus 3 because it is only the distance from y axis from the origin so it is minus 3 it is in the y axis only so see now here x axis is there minus 3 in the distance traveled in x axis it is minus 3 but nothing traveled in the y axis 
so this point belongs to x axis only so now what is that minus 3 you can go for minus 3 this is the point this is the point for f f coordinate is here we can write minus 3 0 i hope you understood how i am plotting the points these lines must be given nicely uh, in dotted lines must be given to locate the points the coordinate pairs must be written the quadrants must be written and the scale on which measurement you are doing that measurement also to be written here in x and y axis then it is called as a complete demonstration of the points which coordinates are given in a Cartesian plane i hope you understood it nicely now come to the concluding part of the coordinate geometry concluding part of the coordinate geometry carries the overall review of discussions what the discussions we did uh, that overall review i am just giving to you this is very very important for you just try to understand it now so the first one is to locate the exact position of a point in a plane we need two reference two reference we need one is a horizontal and one other is a vertical if the point is in the plane if the point is in the plane like this if the point is in the plane then we need a horizontal reference and a vertical reference the horizontal reference is called as the x-axis or abscess and the vertical reference is called as the ordinate or the y-axis from that distance from the x and the y is giving you the ordered pair and the distance exact location of the point now come to the second point a point or an object in a plane is located with the help of the two perpendicular number lines so this is one this is a perpendicular number line this is another perpendicular number line both are perpendicular to each other both perpendicular number lines is giving you the point or the object in a plane and the location of the object on the plane for to locate an object or a point in a plane we need two perpendicular number lines we need two perpendicular number lines both are perpendicular to each other two perpendicular number lines we need and one of them is horizontal definitely one is this one is horizontal and this one is vertical now so horizontal is called as x-axis or axis and the other is called as the vertical ordinate or y-axis now come to the point number three the representing points in the plane in the form of coordinate x and y are called the Cartesian coordinates that means uh, if the point is uh, here at 3 distance from the x-axis and 4 distance from the y-axis then these are called as the Cartesian coordinate that means in x it is 3 and in y it is 4 when you will join you can exactly locate the point also uh, now the point is 3 4 clear now so uh, here that is only said to you the representing of points in the plane in the form of coordinates x and y are called Cartesian coordinates when you are given 3, 4 to locate a point that means 3 is given for the x-axis and 4 is given for the y-axis to locate the point in the Cartesian plane so that those are called as the Cartesian coordinates next you see the meeting point of the axes are called as origin so this point where the axes are meeting each other this point is called as origin this is called as origin origin here the coordinate of the origin is 0 0 x is 0 and also y is equal to 0 next you see uh, the ordered pair x and y is different from the ordered pair y x suppose the ordered pair is 1 2 here so it is different from y x if y is given first and x after that and x is given first and y is after that both are not same so the ordered pair x y is definitely different from the ordered pair y x because y is mentioned for after that x coordinate is given here x coordinate is given first so y is mentioned later so both are different to each other next x axis is denoted by the equation y equal to 0 x axis that means a point will be on x axis when when the y coordinate will be 0 y coordinate will not be there then we can say that the x coordinate of the x axis the point is belonging to x axis only so if i am saying 3 0 then y coordinate is 0 here x is 3 here so from origin to uh, 3 centimeter distance the point will be located that means it should be on the x axis now y axis is also denoted by the equation x equal to 0 
So what is saying y axis is also denoted by the equation x equal to 0. When x equal to 0, x coordinate is not there, then the y the point is on the y, y axis. That means if I am saying uh, 0, 3, 0 is for x, so x coordinate, coordinate is not there and y coordinate is 3 now. So the point will be on the y axis. So the y axis is denoted by the equation x equal to 0. I hope this all review discussions you understood nicely. Again, I am saying to you, just I am reading for you, to locate the exact position of a point in a plane, we need two references. Two references are the horizontal and the vertical lines. And a point or an object in a plane is located with the help of two perpendicular normal lines. That means a horizontal normal line that is called as x-axis or axis and a vertical normal line that is called as the ordinate or y-axis. Next, the representing of points in a plane in form of coordinates, x and y are called Cartesian coordinates. So pair is given to you 3, 4, uh, 1, 2, these are called as the Cartesian coordinates because it is indicating or it is giving you the x distance and the y distance in a Cartesian plane. So those are called as Cartesian coordinates or ordered pairs or ordered pairs. The meeting point of the axis in the origin, the meeting, the meeting point of the axis means the x-axis and the y-axis where they are intersecting each other, that point is called as the origin. That is the origin and the coordinate of the origin is 0, 0, x is 0 and y is 0. The ordered pair x and y is different from the ordered pair y and x. If the ordered pair is x and y and another ordered pair is y x, so both are different from each other. Now x axis is denoted by the equation y equal to 0. A point will be on the x axis when the y coordinate will be equal to 0. And x, y axis is denoted by the equation x equal to 0. The point will be on the y axis when the x coordinate will be equal to 0. I hope you understood this review discussions. So this is the computing part of the coordinate geometry, a very easy chapter. Just go through the video and practice your sums nicely. Uh, go through the graph paper and practice uh, the coordinate pairs uh, putting from your own wish and you can easily able to get the chapter nicely. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself. How'd you get so